Good Looking will now be played by Stephen Hale. He will also now be called Detective Hot as Fuck. You're welcome. All right, where were we? Well, we were just discussing the unsolved murder of Merlinda D. Stallion. What do you? Wait, what are you doing? Not you! Not you! You! You killing me! No! Also, the related kidnapping of Merlinda's niece, Esther Alejandra Stallion, by the maniacal duo Mercy and Carlos. (laughs) (laughs) Carlos! Si, senora. Years ago, Merlinda had a passionate love affair with Mercy's husband, Alejandro. Mark my words. Alejandro will be mine. We will be together forever. Either that or I'll bear his love twins in an act of sexual indiscretion. (laughs) Mercy was just so bent out of shape over it that she killed Alejandro in cold blood just to torture Merlinda. You! You killed him! You killed Alejandro! I did! You killed him! My soul! Now she's kidnapping Merlinda's niece? What gives? Not sure. But it does serve to note that Merlinda went on to find true love with corporate attorney Victor Sage, who after Merlinda's murder fell madly and passionately in love with me, and I with him. I with him. Uh, Detective, please, enough of this Sage fellow talk. I I swear, it's as if he's hypnotized you or something. Tell me, what do you think of the name Detective Sage. What are you talking about? What? I didn't tell you. Victor Sage asked me to marry him last night. I'm going to be an Asian bride. day at our brand new multi-million dollar office suite. Oh, looks like Horsey finally came in. He looks throbby. (laughs) Well, I am Buffy Stallion and I have arrived. I hadn't noticed. Well, where's my soy latte and why aren't you elegantly taking this pashmina off my body? Anything else? Buck, why did you let me initiate that diversity program? Nothing good comes in color. What in the hell is going on here? I walk into that lobby and the little sucker sucker won't take my coat. And then he hands me a latte and there's no snake juice in it. Look at here, no appointments even though that part's in my contract. I'm sorry, Buffy, I don't have time for your domestic squabbles. Domestic squabbles? Isn't it obvious? Now that I've chosen innocent Pedro as the everlasting love of my life, Diego is looking to your husband for comfort. And naturally, he fancies you as his rival. It's times like this, sister dear, that I wish my mother were here to guide you. MY MOTHER! You called? MOTHER! (gasps) My uh, twins. I believe we have some unfinished business to attend to. Wouldn't you agree? (laughs) Fresh fruit.
typing, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm typing.